to everybody, the distinguished guests on the dais, Mr. FCS Peter Raru, Director General NAC, Mr. P. Prem Kumar Apreda, V. Sudhakar, President AP Center, and other distinguished industry colleagues and participants of Third Building for India Expo 2012 and members of media. I am glad to see you all here. I am happy to be here at the opening ceremony of this prestigious event. Hitex, as all of us know, is working as per its mandate of being a catalyst contributing to the industrial development of our state by organizing exhibitions, conference and trade promotional events on subjects which have strong local relevance. The state of Andhra Pradesh with its proactive policies is in the forefront of development and offers immense opportunities to the construction industry. To accelerate the growth, the government of AP is encouraging participation of the private sector in the area of power, ports, airports, expressways and the mega industrial infrastructure parks. The wide road network of 4,472 kilometers of national highways and 42,511 kilometers of state highways offers an unparalleled opportunity to the construction and allied industry. Andhra Pradesh has also emerged as a key state for the knowledge-based industry including IT, engineering, pharmaceuticals and biotechnology. It is also a leading agriculture state in the country. Majority of construction firms in the country today with, the, with their national and international operations have their origin from Andhra Pradesh. The third edition of International Exhibition on Construction Equipment and Building Material built for India 2012 is providing a platform to the industry to where showcase their product and services. I hope the exhibition will enable growth and create a platform for the industry to reach out to their target audience and enable interactions and discussions on new technologies, products and projects. I am happy to see leading players like JCB, Cobelco, Mahindra, Fajlona, Reliance Industry Limited, Tata, Intertech, LNT Metro, etc., participating in the exhibition. I assure Builders Association of India support for all other events organized by Hitex in future. I wish the participant and the organizer all the success. Now, just I want to tell the how the mechanization is taking place in India. I have almost 38 years experience in the construction industry. I started my career in 1973 after my post-graduation in agriculture. First job I got, 86 lakhs in 73, about 40 miles, 86 lakhs, single lane to double lane between Gudur to Kavali, whether all of you are known to these areas or I don't know. In those days, 40 kilometers, 40 miles, that is more than 60 kilometers, was costing only 86 lakhs. Today, each kilometer, minimum it is costing, maybe see it is 4 lane to 6 lane, around 10 to 12 crore. If, it, if you go to northeast, it is even 15 crore per kilometer. So in those days, of course, we started with a mechanized uh, paving, asphalt paving, starting with that. In 88, the first time, the loading 
and excavation by uh, the JCB. The JCB introduced in 88 by name 3C. They were struggling to sell one mission in each state. Even they used to take more than a month. They used to go all the contractors and tell about their product, what are the benefits, how, how they can replace the labor. But they used to put a lot of effort. Even then, they couldn't sell even one mission per month for even two, three months in each state. Today, the stage has come, the JCB, Baco, they are almost producing more than 100 missions per day. So that is the mechanization is taking place in India. And see, any, in those days, anything excavation, we used to engage the Palmur labor, whatever it may be, the volume of earthwork, see, you see Nagarjun Sagar or Sri Salem canals, huh? even the entire dam was constructed totally based on on the labor force. Canal expression was done by all la labor only. Today, totally we are depending on the excavators. Totally, equip totally it is mechanized, even lining of the canals, excavation, even production of concrete, everything is mechanized and the volumes are very huge. Without the mechanization, we can't achieve this progress. Today, we need so we are lucky, even uh, 96 also, the, the mechanization was not that much uh, in the road construction. In 2000 onwards, even irrigation, other, other, other areas, the mechanization took place, even buildings. Today, wherever even small building of say, five floors is cluster of uh, buildings, you, you can see the uh, tower crane. Without tower crane, nobody is uh, starting the work. When I was uh, going to see the abroad, I used to see only the tower cranes when you land. So thousands of tower cranes we used to observe. Every building without the tower crane, first of the mission they buy the tower crane and they start the work. Today the stage has come in India also. Labor is not available, though we have so much labor, nobody is willing to work. They are all sitting and enjoying and mechanization is the only solution for uh, development or construction. So, these exhibitions, I know some of the products, most of the products, everybody knows here. But these exhibitions, when you display, people will come to know how to use them, where to use them, and those who doesn't have even knowledge by seeing these exhibitions automatically, okay, this now we have to replace the labor because of this labor problem, then people will start thinking about going for the mechanization. You see, even the building material, so much building materials are there. Previously, we were thinking only brick, uh, earth brick, earthen bricks. Today, a lot of products are there. Even including rod bending, rod cutting, everything is mechanized. See, today with, by having one mission, you can replace uh, ranging from 30 to even 100 laborers per, per day. So, the exhibitions is the bridge between the manufacturers and the construction agencies. Unless you, these exhibitions are there, we, sometimes we will miss how to use them, where to use them. Because, see, this is, I always request all the manufacturers to participate in such exhibitions so that people will come to know the, all about all the products and which is so necessary today in India for the construction. So, thank you for giving this opportunity and thank you all. I take leave.